Hey, I thought I'd just share real quick this uh, LiDAR chip. Um, evidently, STM has come out with a miniature LiDAR chip, and um, I got this uh, already mounted on a tiny little board um, from China. Um, seller was a good module, and I got it for about $7.00. And uh, I've hooked it up and uh, immediately got it to work with uh, Adafruit's uh, uh, library. Um, I forget what the name is for this. It's uh, like a, oh, it's a VL53L0 or OXV2. Um, anyway, uh, the, this camera is not doing too well in focusing, but... Uh, it's basically it just has a voltage on the ground and then uh, the I2C uh, uh, S clock and S da data and uh, I have this hooked up doing a simple sketch um, to a uh, uh, Leonardo clone here and uh, uh, when I look over it directly you can see the infrared laser jamming uh, along here uh, blinking and uh, I have the sketch running on my laptop here and you can see I got my face over it right now it's pretty darn accurate I tested it and uh, I think Adafruit's uh, um, probably needs to be calibrated by about uh, one centimeter it's about one centimeter off um, if I go from the board up I have to add or uh, roughly about a centimeter to uh, whatever it's reading here but I got my hand directly over it and I got my finger all the way down, just almost touching it. And now I'm bringing my hand up. And it'll stop at about 1,200 millimeters. It'll say it's out of range. Here we go. Out of range, out of range, out of range. So, just roughly over a meter. And then it goes out of range. Let me see if I can get my uh, computer to brighten up here. Uh, anyway, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's very uh, responsive um, and pretty darn accurate. And, you know, I, I've got my hand over it right now just to, just to the side of it, and it's not picking it up. I have to be right over it. Let's see if I can show you. When I have my hand over to here, to this side, let's see, that's picking up my face. Right there, my hand's right here. It's not until, let me get the camera out of the way. I just about literally have to be right over the thing for it to pick it up. So it's picking up only pretty much what's right in front of it. I have watched it uh, in the dark, like take a piece of paper like this and put it over it and in the dark I can see a spot probably about that big flickering on the paper when I had about this high. But anyway, that's, uh, that's how it works uh, and uh, it's a very cheap LiDAR um, sensor and uh, I was really just real curious about it. I thought about making some kind of... Uh, old theremin type of control uh, uh, like a d-beam controller for one of my synthesizers and you know like the filter cut off and go up and down with my hand right over it and uh, you know I it's really accurate uh, and it's a uh, very narrow beam so it's uh, kind of a fun little uh, device to, to play around with I wonder if I can get any imaging done if I made some kind of scanner with it or put it on a robot and have it scan back and forth for uh, obstacles and uh, uh, pathways that are open. Um, anyway, uh, just thought I'd uh, mention this uh, and show what I got from China and uh, um, looks like a pretty good deal uh, right now for seven bucks and I imagine these are going to drop down in price really really fast. But uh, you know, if you're interested in playing around with LiDAR, uh, I'd say go with a uh, the uh, good module guy and this uh, little board that he makes uh, on the bottom of it let me uh, unplug this bottom of this is uh, some more components 
So you've got the actual sensor. Let me put this right. The sensor is this little tiny little black chip right here. And I don't see any components on this side. Uh, the components all over are on the other side. Uh, compared to Adafruit, who uh, has a it's a bigger board. It also came with a little tiny piece of plastic that went over the. Uh, I don't know if I can get this back up, but yeah, it's stuck. But you know how they put a little piece of clear plastic. It's kind of amber colored, and they put it over to protect the lenses, I guess. And uh, of course, it works better when you take the <laughs> um, the little protective. Uh, plastic off it did work with that with it on at first I just wanted to see and then I uh, peeled it off of there and it uh, seemed to be a little, little bit more responsive but uh, pretty cool little device and uh, um, probably uh, use it on some projects later on thanks for watching